because everybody is trying to figure out a theory as to how this happened. Caitlin, I'm going to start with you on, on the Gucci part. Uh, I did not expect this to sort of enter into our discussion about this case, but now it's kind of thrown me for a loop. What's it saying to you? It definitely signifies something, but only because of the fact that it was circled. This is a wealthy family. We know they have their financial issues, hordes of financial issues, but this is the type of family who would drop a grand at Gucci and not think twice about it. But the fact that it was found in the trash and this particular purchase was circled stands out to me as having some sort of significance with this crime. My hunch goes to Paul. And that's only because, from what prosecutor prosecutors said, he was killed first. So I don't know if there was some sort of conversation or altercation about what is this charge. We know, like I said, they were having so many <laughs> issues with money. If it was one of those things where you said I mean, you can't do anymore. You just blew my mind because my kids, they buy too many bacon, egg, and cheeses, and I get so mad at them. But they're $6, and I <laughs> would not even raise my this hand. This is a family who is so that. flippant with money. But I, like, okay, a thousand bucks, I'm going to take your brains, uh, you know, and send them across the, no, the hunting ground. Definitely, Woof. definitely not what sparked it, I don't think. But yeah. could it have begun an argument that spiraled into something else? Well, I'm thinking, Tony, that maybe it's, mm -hmm. um, what the hell is this charge, Alec? Because it's not for me. So whose Gucci bubble is this? Well, you may not know this, actually, but there's now Gucci designer bullets uh, that are out there. Uh, so maybe it was that. But no, seriously, I, I think, in my opinion, where to look at this, is it possible that Maggie had another card, another account that maybe was not known of before? And maybe this was just kind of on par for the behavior of an entitled, reckless family. Uh, and maybe Alex already knew that the world was kind of crashing down around him and he saw that receipt maybe he knew we don't really have the money or we shouldn't be doing this and that's why it was circled as to we need to to calm this down we need to tone this down which i think could also go into motive of how do you approach your family when literally everything around you has been destroyed and a lot of it by your own fault I mean, I yell at my kids for the bacon, egg, and cheese problem, but I do yeah. not, again, throw a plate at them or, you know, haul sure. up my AR-15. And so, um, you know, spending, you know, recklessly is one thing. Uh, cheating mm -hmm. uh, on your spouse, that, that's a whole other kettle of fish. So that's the other thing I sure. kind of wondered if that's going to, you know, poke its head up in this uh, case. All right, Caitlin, the other big story that a lot of people online are discussing is the, the, the gangland kind of killing that this was, right? Like they, it's not crazy to think this is a drug cartel. Like we already know that Alec has an opioid addiction that costs millions. He's laundering money and he's probably, you know, dealing with some pretty high-end drug dealers instead of the high school guy. So why is it so, you know, implausible that this was a cartel that came to the ranch that night and said, we're marching all three of you down to the dog kennels and Alec, pay what you owe or bang, bang, Buster gets it next. And Alec doesn't want to say anything because he doesn't want Buster to get it next. You know, my first inclination when I heard that, first of all, it reminds me very much of Ozark. I feel like anybody who's ever watched that show, yes. this all seems very much like a plot line out of Ozark. And it is totally plausible, especially considering the fact that uh, wrapped into that hundred plus boatload of charges that Alec is facing for all of those other issues included in that, as you mentioned, Ashley, were, you know, our drug charges, money laundering charges. So he could be wrapped up in something larger. The thing that I would push back on there is if that's the case why would he not just go down with the ship plead guilty go away because now he knows if he doesn't fight these murder charges he knows buster's not going to get it so i don't know i just think that maybe that might be a stretch in this instance and plus if you go for his mm. family members could he then be um, you, you know, have a desire to then go to the police and say, protect my son, protect me. I will roll on these guys. And that is 
a risk. You can't. For the There's too many cartels for that. There's too many. You know what? I have to have you guys back because I didn't even get to the craziest theory of all, and that is the prosecutor's theory that he killed his wife and son to buy some time. I mean, that to me is just so nutty. I can't imagine any juror is going to be like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. All right, so both of you have to come back. Thank you so much, Caitlin Becker. And thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.